Buying time, mastering a useful English phrase. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English phrases and idioms. Today, we're diving into the phrase, buy time. It's a common expression you'll often hear in both casual and formal conversations. So, if you're ready to expand your English skills, let's get started. In this section, we'll explore what buy time actually means. The phrase doesn't involve shopping or literally buying time as a commodity. Instead, it's an idiomatic expression used when someone is trying to delay an event or extend a deadline. The aim is often to allow for more preparation or to avoid a situation until one is ready to face it. Where did this phrase come from? Buy time has its roots in historical practices where people could literally pay money to extend deadlines or delay legal proceedings. Over time, this concept became metaphorical, evolving into the idiomatic phrase we use today. It's a fantastic example of how language evolves over time. Let's look at some everyday examples to see how buy time is used. 1. In work. I need to buy some time to finish this report. Let's tell the boss we're waiting on external feedback. 2. In personal situations, he's not ready to decide if he wants to move to a new city. He's just buying time to weigh his options. 3. In movies or books, the hero bought time by distracting the villain, allowing the townspeople to escape. These examples show that buying time can be strategic and smart in various contexts. While learning, be careful not to confuse buy time with literal interpretations. Remember, it's all about delaying or extending time for a specific purpose, not actually purchasing time. Also, avoid overusing the phrase in inappropriate contexts where delay or postponement is not the intended meaning. We hope this video helps you understand and use buy time effectively in your English conversations. Remember, mastering idioms like this can really show off your fluency and grasp of the language. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to practice using buy time in your own conversations. Until our next video, keep learning and keep having fun with English.